always in the field training to go to war. Kind of split my family up at the same time, which I began to get mentally ill. I was feeling like really down, tired and drained in my body. I got out because I thought I was missing something, what they call civilian world. Upon arriving home, I was totally lost. So I chose a life of drug and alcohol. Bouncing from couch to couch, nowhere to call home. I was in jail for a drug charge. For the very thing that I felt like that I went abroad to fight for freedom, that my freedom was taken away from me. Then I came to St. Patrick's, and that was the best thing that I ever done. St. Patrick's Center believed in me, and they put embodied trust into me, and it gave me even more trust within myself. They told me as a veteran that if you would do this, we'll see if we can do this. It set me up with structure in my life that I didn't have before, and it gave my daughter got benefits and housing. St. Patrick's Center, I was like, okay, they can help me be more proactive, not reactive. That way, they can check along with myself and see where my progress is going and not just ask me to fill out papers. Through St. Patrick's, they allowed me to become mobile again. And when I say mobile, I don't mean just being able to move with bus tickets and things. Mobile in the mind, knowing that I can do more than what's in that square. St. Patrick's Center means so much to me. It was like heaven sent place, but you gotta want it. They had uh, the daycare for my daughter, so that was excellent. <laughs> they told me that you don't have to be homeless. Uh, you don't have to be jobless. Uh, you don't have to be hungry. I excelled in it and I loved it. And without St. Patrick's, I could not be where I'm at today. I don't even think about drinking or doing drugs. It's things I've accomplished with my family back in my life and places to live and going to school. When they told me that we have approved for you an apartment, wow, uh, something went through me that was just unreal and uh, I'll never forget it. It's somebody who's gonna be there and gonna give you the tools and resources that you did not have. Whatever it is, they're there. And that's really what you need. <laughs> the St. Patrick Center is a amazing place. Being in the, the trenches of where I've been and coming to a place like St. Patrick's, you've did the right thing. I am living proof and living witness of that.